Hi everyone, this is Cindy Green, Creating with the Heart, and I am back with a card to share with you guys. Actually, I'm going to make a card with you guys today. Now, I have been doing a lot of crafting. My room is a hot mess. My desk is a hot mess. I have lots and lots of projects in progress. So bear with me. Things are a little bit scattered here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a card today. It's an A2 size card. And I'm going to start with a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. This is what I'm going to just fold over. Now I, probably two years ago, I bought the Nina White Solar White um, cardstock from Amazon, the eight and a half by 11. And I took it to Office Depot and had them cut it for me. So they cut it to fit two different sizes of cards, both A2 size. So this way, and then um, the front fold as well. And I'm still working on that paper. So it was really, really a good bargain. And I just need to go and go back and um, score it all because I scored a bunch and I just, yeah, things are crazy. So anyway, I'm going to um, use this paper. This is from, I can't see where this is from, but I believe it's a Re reflections paper pad from, I think last year, I think I bought it at the end of the season. And so I have been um, trying to use up old paper and just kind of get it out. Really working on new stash stuff. I did buy quite a few things from Black Friday and I'm going to be sharing um, that with you guys too this month. So I'm going to go ahead and place my card here. And I've got this piece right here. This is just the, the B side. I don't normally use score tape, but my ATG gun is acting up. So, and I really need to get this um, project up. So this panel, this was just basically what was left from when I cut this. And this is like a red strip of paper that I had from my last project. You know, just use what you have and it just seemed to work really well. So this is my cut. And this is from the Hello Kitty Holiday Cartridge. I cut it at three and three quarters. Um, I think it's a pretty good size um, for this project and just adorable. So I had a little bit of trouble with the cut on the bow. So um, in one of my earlier videos, I talk about tips for bad cuts. And one of my favorite tips for a bad cut, and the stickles is still not dry, so I'm being very gentle, um, is to use stickles or glitter glue um, to cover it up. Um, that's probably the best tip, I think. It works the best. I mean, because glitter just makes everything look great. And you honestly can't even tell once I put the glitter glue on there that I had a problem with that cut. Because sometimes it, you know, it happens. Uh, let's see, I can't get this one off. Okay, stuck to my finger now. All right, Ooh. trying to get this one on here without getting glitter glue on me. Okay, so it's still wet. I want to screw that up. Okay, so yeah, so you can't even really tell the glitter glue really helps cover up that bad cut. So there we go. And then here is my sentiment. This is from Paper Tray Ink. Um, I just grabbed a couple of Christmas sentiment stamps that I had that were strictly sentiments and just threw them on my table. So when I needed to grab a quick one, I would just look for pretty much the right size, honestly. So this is also on foam. And I mean, I could have done a lot more with this probably, but I think it's simple and cute. And there you go. 
Isn't that cute? I love how it came out. Little Kitty is one of my favorites. So this is a digital only cartridge. Um, and you can buy it on Cricut.com. Now I bought a bunch of things for not a bunch, but I did buy some things from Black Friday. I bought some uh, glitter iron-on vinyl because I'm working on a project, which I'll be sharing probably on Friday if all goes well, maybe Saturday. Um, anyway, I when you spent, is it $50? I don't know. Whatever you spent, they would send you a $20 digital credit. So I had bought this last year of this cartridge, but just really hadn't used it. But I did buy the brand new we have two Hello Kitty cartridges that are digital only, like a village one or a family one or something, two of them. And so I bought one of one of those, and so I'm excited about that. And then um, the project that I'm probably going to do tomorrow is using Cozy Christmas, which I thought I had bought, but apparently I bought the Valentine's Day one. I don't know. I'm very confused by what I bought. Um, but anyway, this is my card for the day. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow.